Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So let's have a few more questions today. This set of 10 questions consists of MCQs from accounting and financial management subject. So let's have our first question. What is other name for statement of changes in financial position? Options are A. Balance sheet, which is actually a statement of financial position not the statement of changes in financial position in a balance sheet you will find information about assets liabilities and uh, owners equity of a business firm for an accounting period right profit and loss account and income statement these are same in this in this statement you will find the information about revenues and expenses profits and gains so that is what an income statement or profit and loss account about then comes the cash flow statement which is the which is actually the right answer for this question cash flow statement is the statement of changes in financial position it shows cash inflows and cash outflows right cash inflows and cash outflows from operating activities that is the operations of the business sales purchase right investing activities and financing activities so this is what a statement of changes in financial position we also call a funds flow statement the statement of changes in financial position which shows the information about application and sources of funds so that is funds flow statement cash flow statement is actually the uh, uh, as per the institute of accounted chartered accountants of india this accounting standard 3 which was issued in the year 1981 was statement of changes in financial position then it was revised in the year 1997 to cash flow statement so accounting standard 3 holds the information about cash flow statement which is statement of changes in financial position second question is in falling prices fifo which is first in first out method of valuation resulting so we have various methods of inventory valuation one of them is fifo first in first out others are lifo last in first out hifo highest in first out we have weighted average method, we have base stock method, we have NIFO, right? So, FIFO method under falling prices. So, we have market fluctuations that prices are falling, right? Decreasing prices and FIFO method is opted. So, in this method, as we can say they see that prices are falling, that means that product first bought, that is issued, was at high prices. But then it is sold P2, P3, we have at the end PN. And now it is being sold first in, first out. So first in which was at the higher cost is now being sold at a lower price. That means that production is being overcharged and there's less profit and taxes. So this is the situation. Material cost is high and closing stock is lower. And it will result in less profit and therefore less taxes this is the similar situation when the market is market prices are increasing and you have opted for LIFO method that is last in first out however for FIFO method in increasing prices and LIFO method in decreasing decreasing prices you will have inflated profit more profit higher closing stock and lower material cost right production being undercharged so these are four different situations of FIFO and LIFO under rising prices and falling prices third question is a business has current assets of rupees 30,000 the current ratio is 2 ratio 1 and current liabilities are so it's a simple question current ratio which is one of the liquidity ratio liquidity means the company's position to pay for its current expenses so this ratio 
formula for current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities and we are given that current assets are 30,000 30,000 is the current assets and liabilities we don't know and the ratio is 2 ratio 1 right 2 ratio 1 so from here we can actually determine the liabilities right so it will be 30k divided by 2 will be your liabilities which is 15,000 rupees so option A is the right answer that value of current liabilities will be rupees 50,000 15,000 as the ratio is to ratio 1 and formula we know that it is current assets divided by current liabilities question number 4 which of the following transactions would be recorded in the accounting system based on the money measurement concept so as per money measurement concept you will uh, you actually write the transactions which can be written in the money in the value of money so value of plant and machinery of a company you can actually record as per their prices right so option a is the right answer you cannot make a transaction of health of chief executive officer of an organization you can ma cannot measure this in money then quality of company's product or service is also qualitative it cannot be written in money so everything which you can measure in money will be written will be recorded in the accounting system so every transaction which is which has the cost the money which is measurable will only be recorded option number question number five quick ratio is also known as so we already did a question about current ratio right so liquidity ratios we have three liquidity ratios one of them is current ratio which is current assets divided by current liabilities however quick ratio also known as ac test ratio right two names it has quick ratio and acid test ratio which is also a liquidity ratio right for this you again have current assets divided by current liabilities but here current assets doesn't current assets do not include the stocks the inventory so current assets less the inventory divided by current liabilities is the formula for ac test ratio or the quick ratio which is one of the liquidity ratio so option e c is the right answer that quick ratio can also be known as liquid ratio and ac test ratio question number six which of the following is the correct formula for the accounting equation so we know there's an accounting equation and uh, option b is the right answer that assets is equal to liabilities plus shareholders equity that is for every transaction these two sides will be equal for example if you are buying a machinery for 50,000 so 50,000 in the asset parts for machinery will be added right you are ha you having a machine you are having an asset but the 50,000 cash will be deducted this will be your liability then if there is a transaction that uh, you have purchased goods on credit 14,000 so 14,000 the purchased goods will be your assets and you have brought them on credit so there will be debtors so for debtors you will have minus 14,000 the liability as debtors so in the liability part you will deduct the 14,000 so this will this way at the end of an accounting period this equation assets equal to like liquidity uh, liabilities per shareholders equity right this will be proven so that is it about which is actually followed for the balance sheet that assets is equal to liabilities plus shareholders equity moving on to the seventh question inventories cash and equivalents and accounts receivables are listed as so inventories the stock you have cash and cash equivalents which can be converted into cash shortly and accounts receivable 
that payments you will receive these are what so earnings on income statement no in an income statement you have the information about expenses and revenue profit and loss so a and b are wrong assets on the balance sheet that is the right option option number c because inventories cash cash equivalents account receivables these are assets and accounts payable these will be your liabilities right option number question number 8 which of the following is not a discounted capital budgeting method so we have various methods of capital budgeting we can classify them into discounted and non discounted a discounted one is where you are actually considering the present value of money you are actually considering the interest so that is discounted so we have non discounted one profitability index it's a discounted method of uh, capital budgeting where you find the profitability index by net present value of benefits divided by net present value of the cost so you are considering the present value then you have internal rate of return where net present value becomes zero and net present value method itself which is present value of benefits minus present value of cost then comes two non discounted methods which do not consider the present value of money these are payback period method that is cash outlay the investment divided by annual cash flow this way you will find the payback period in how many days you will uh, have the investment returned right so the project with the less payback period will be accepted similarly accounting rate of return it considers in the ratio of income average income and average investment right so from the options we can see that option d is the right answer it is not a discounted capital budgeting method it is a non discounted capital budgeting method right non discounted are payback period and accounting rate of return and these present value methods npv iir irr and pi that is profitability index they consider the present value of money the time value of money so these are discounted methods of capital budgeting question number 9 which among the following matches are correct operating leverage operating le leverage is the tendency of operating profit to vary disproportionately with the sales so an inclination you give for uh, profit and sales ratio so it can be represented as a percent change in earnings earning before in income and tax divided by percent changes in sales so that is your operating leverage sales operations then you have financial leverage which is tendency of residual net income to vary disproportionately with operating profit so you can represent this with earning per share divided by earning before interest and taxes percentage change in earning per share divided by earning per share uh, percentage changes in earning before interest and taxes then comes the composite lever leverage which is actually the combination of these two you actually multiply these two leverages and you will find the composite leverage uh, which is effect of changes in sales over changes in taxable profit right so these three options all are right all are correct a b c d right so all matches are correct operating leverage talk about sales and operating profit that is earning before interest and taxes financial leverage talks about income that is uh, earning per share and operating profit again earning before interest and ta tax and composite leverage takes into consideration both so it is multiplication of operating leverage and financial leverage then comes the last question which of the following is true about financial break even point so break even point we all know is the point where there's no profit right so similarly here financial break even point is earning level at which earning per share equals to 0 so what is earning per share equal to 0 is the your break even break even points so option a is the right option 2 is also right 
that it helps in calculating zero net income so you are you're having zero net income no profit right a point where earning before income and tax is equal to financial cost of a firm so this is same thing that uh, you are earning zero there's earning per share is zero and formula for financial break-even point is preferred dividends divided by 1 minus tax rate plus inter interest expenses. So these were the 10 questions for today. I hope you like it. Thank you. Have a great day.